Hello, today we will be solving this problem called two nights. So basically we need to find for each value of k between, n, between 1 and n the number of ways to place two knights on an k by k chessboard so that they do not attack each other. So we will be given the value n in this example 8 and for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 we need to find the number of ways of placing two knights on an k by k chessboard. This is for k equals 1, so if we have just one cell, the answer is obviously 0 because we need at least like there are not two cells to place the two knights and they cannot be placed on the same cell. And this is for 2, so for 2 the answer is 6. Let's try to see why the answer would be 6 for 2. So let's draw a 2 by 2 chessboard. It would be something like this. So we could place the first knight here. Then the second knight could be placed in any other cell. So here or here or here. So if we number these cells 1, 2, 3 and 4, then the Possible pairings are like 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. We could also place our first rook here. And then we, we already counted the pair to 1, so we are left with the pair 2, 3. And then 2, 4. And the last pair is 3, 4. So basically, these are the 6 ways. So in order to solve this problem, we need to uh, reiterate what they are actually asking us to find. So we need to find the number of ways. So the number of ways to place two knights such that they are not attacking and this could give us an idea of using the inclusion exclusion principle and basically what this tells us to do is to actually count what uh, the other like the complement of this the opposite of this so if you want to count the number of ways to place two knights such that they are not attacking each other we could instead count the number of ways to place two knights such that they are attacking each other and then this answer we are looking for would be the total number of ways minus the number of ways of placing two knights such that they're attacking each other so let's give names to these other values. So let's call A. Let A being the number of ways of placing two knights without any additional constraints. And then B would be the number of ways of placing two knights such that they are attacking each other attack and our answer would be a minus b so <coughs> if you have uh, a number like if you have uh, a number of ways that are good and the other ways are bad so if you want to find the number of ways that are good, we could just calculate the numbers that are bad and take them away from the total number of ways. So now what we are left with is finding ways to calculate A and B. So A, let's start with A. If we have, so A. A. So if we have a k by k chessboard, 
basically we just need to pick two positions out of all possible positions where order doesn't matter so what are the total number of cells so total number of cells in this board would be k squared and then the number of ways of choosing two from k squared would be c to k squared or like the binomial coefficient k squared choose two which is also equal to n times n minus one over two this is the general formula of this is by definition the number of ways of choosing two elements from k square elements we could go back on uh, this concept in our combinatoric series later so for now mm, this is our answer so a would be equal to n also, and this is i did not uh, write this correctly so this should be k square k square minus one so a would be equal to k square times k square minus one over two now let's tackle b so b was the number of ways of placing two nights such that they attack each other and this is a uh, simple as well so if we have a grid let's look at a three by three chessboard let's look at a situation where two knights are attacking each other if the first one is here the other one would be here this is a possibility or it could be here what we can notice is that whenever two knights are attacking each other they form a 2 by 3 rectangle or a 3 by 2 rectangle in this case so basically whenever we have a 2 by 3 rec or a 3 by 2 we could have attacking knights if we place them in the corner and we could and there are two ways of doing so we could place the first one here and the second one here or do the opposite we could have one knight here and one knight here so each two by three or three by two rectangle gives us two ways to place knights so calculating b now boils down to finding the number of two by three rectangles and three by two rectangles in our k by k chessboard so this is equal to two times number of two by three rec plus number of three by two rec now let's see how we can find the number of two by two rectangles inside the grid so if we look at this chessboard and we want to find a starting so now we'll just focus on a, on two by threes so two in this dimension and three in this dimension and we want to find the starting corner like the top left corner of our rectangle could it be here yes that's possible because it, there is enough space for it to go three units in this direction and two units in this direction could we start here for example no because we only have two units in this direction we would need three how about here yes this position is possible as well because we have two in this direction and three in this one how about this position no this position is not good so out of three possible positions only two are viable and in this dimension out of three only one is viable what if we make our grid one unit larger in both directions so then this point becomes viable 
because now we can pick this point this point also becomes viable and so does this one and so does this one and that's pretty much it so basically we have two in this dimension and three in this dimension and previously we had one in this dimension and two in this dimension uh, and so you can guess it by now so the general formula here both dimensions are equal to k so here uh, the last one is not possible this one is not possible in this way so we only can get k minus one in this direction and in this direction the last two are not possible like this one is not possible and this one is not possible so that would be equal to k minus two here therefore the number of ways of, of placing two by three rectangles would be equal to k minus one times k minus two and this also would be similarly equal to k minus two times k minus one and then this would be equal to two and since these are equal we could just make this equal to four times k minus two k minus one and our final answer where did we write that down yes so our final answer would be so s would be equal to k squared times k squared minus 1 over 2 minus 4 times k minus 1 times k minus 2 and you could see here that we will have a k to the fourth uh, value here divided by 2 and since the max of long long is approximately 10 to the 18th so and k could only be as large as 10 to the fourth or which is almost 18 divided by 4 that's why in this problem n only goes up to 10 to the fourth if n falls up to 10 to the fifth then the answer would be up to 10 to the 20th which would be too large to calculate with the regular uh, types so this is pretty much it this is our final answer and now it's time to code it so let's go ahead and code our solution we should start by uh, scanning the input since we're gonna have a, a n to the fourth in our value or k to the fourth then uh, we should declare this variable as a long long so we will go ahead and do this so uh, actually this is fine let's just define n as this so saying n and now this is the va the variable that is important so what i want to do here is have something like for int k equal one k less than or equal to n k plus plus then here we would print something like uh, the formula we just wrote down but if you notice here k is an int and if we leave it like this we will have overflow issues so this is the variable that we should declare as long long and here we have that formula which was k square times k square minus 1 divided by 2 minus 4 times k minus 1 times k minus 2 and we need to print a new line here this way as I said before, we should use this instead of endl because endl might give us time limits. And since we're gonna keep using this, let's go ahead and define it. And I have our first addition to our template. So we would define this 
as ln like new line and we would write ln here instead let's test our code mm -hmm. yes actually it works so let's go ahead and submit it submit that works thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye bye